Anthony, how are you? Yes, I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. You're a bit better uh, than last time I saw you. Well, you know what? Last time you saw me, I was in a world title fight. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I feel good. But after that fight, I think a few people like Tunde, other people were saying, you should be proud of yourself, you've done really well. And you were saying, no, no, I don't want to be proud of myself. I want to be down on myself for a bit. Do you know what? I just see it as this year. I'm a big critic of myself. I'm not one of them people that are excuse makers or you, you win all your fights and then when you come to it, because at the end of the day, it's a loss. It's still a loss. Even though it is Kovalev, it was a big ask. 90% of people around the world, even people, even though people were saying to my face, yeah, you can do it. 90% of people around the world were in highly high doubt because of who Kovalev is and his experience and where he's been or whatever. But I'm a strong critic of myself. And again, my, my ambition is to make history in the sport. That was the opportunity to make history in the sport. And that's why I took the fight. So. Yeah, I mean, you nearly had him at one point as well. <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> I know for a fact everybody was on their seats, especially like around the eighth round. I know for a fact people were like, on the edge of the seat, so. Well, we were as well, and we saw, you know, Frank Warren's team got up as a man and were like rushing towards the front. I mean, everyone thought you got him in that eighth. Do you know what? The way boxing works here is sometimes it's time, place, situation. Um, and again, I'm a strong believer in everything's timing. It wasn't the time for me to be world champion yet or to be at that superstar level in boxing. Um, will it ever be time? 100%. I'm a strong believer in that, but it wasn't time yet. Um, the reason why I took that risk and took that leap is because I wanted it to be somebody like Kovalev. When I'm just fighting guys at a certain level, I jump up, I go to his backyard. It was a, it was, it was one of the things where it will always end up in history. People will always talk about it. So that's why I took the fight. It didn't come off. I was that close, which again, makes it better, entertainment purposes. But um, all honesty, I'm happy. Well, that's good. But I mean, in those last four rounds, we, we, we thought, three rounds it turned out, we, we thought that you were going to come on strong, but in the end, was it experience that told, do you think? Do you know what? A hundred percent. He even said it as well. He goes, I won this fight with experience. A lot of people thought it was going to be a blowout. Um, I was too inexperienced. The caliber of fighters I've been fighting, I haven't fought at that level before. I'm fighting in Russia. I'm fighting with his promotion. There were so many things, but again, that's things I had to ignore. And that's things I have to have like a, a certain mentality saying, I don't care how this is, what people are saying. I have to go out there and win by knockout. And again, that's what played in my mind. In the eighth round, when Tony said go for it, that's what was played in my mind. I was like, this, I ain't getting no decision. Even if I win the rest of the rounds, I said, this is my opportunity, go for it. And again, I was that close. And did you go for it so much that you were like a bit gassed after that, you think? A hundred percent. People, a lot of people were saying, was you gassed after the eighth? Because that's when I threw the most punches. But um, I felt like I, I really felt tired of the, the temp run. Like when the temp run came, I stood up and I was like, woof. So then, <laughs> and he got a second win. He started bouncing on his toes. He started, <laughs> he started throwing the jab. But again, I'm a, I'm, I'm a boxer and we love, we love this stuff. Obviously you don't like to lose, but you love being in exciting fights like that. I know for a fact, the, from, the, uh, from the reception I've got and the reports I've got, everyone was entertained. Pe some people was upset. Some people were just happy that I was in such a good fight. Um, my stock's risen, I believe. But again, the compact, when I want to actually come back to the ring, it's going to be nothing but entertainment. Brilliant. And well, you certainly put yourself on the map, which is basically what you're just saying. And there must be some positives now or a few weeks after to take from that fight. There was positive straight away. I took, I personally took positive straight away. Um, neg some people see it as negative when I'm being a strong critic of myself, but that's just ambition. That's just ambition. And the fact I was that close, meaning it means it could have been done. But if you're believing, you know, the way things work in the universe and God and things like that and timing, it just wasn't time yet. It wasn't meant to be. Will it be time? Stay tuned. <laughs> and did you learn anything from that fight? Is there anything you think now that you could do differently going into future fights? You know what? This is something that a lot of people have said um, just in history. There's no teacher like experience. And you can't buy this experience, you know. I went out there and I fought Kovalev in Russia. You know, some people get to the stage in their own backyard or in comfortable situations and freeze. You know, you've seen it time and time again. I won't name names, but um, people froze when they get to a certain level. Um, Kovalev wasn't no walkover. <laughs> he's not past it. Since he's been with his new trainer, he looks like a different fighter. And um, the experience I've taken from this is just believe in yourself more. That's it. I just saw it as this. When I hurt him, if I just relaxed a bit more and picked my shots, I could have got him out of there. But because of the occasion, the corner, my corner shouting and things like that, 
I just got overwhelmed and I, I went Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I just uh, I literally started just swinging and loading up or whatever. But again, that's boxing. If it if I pulled it off, I'll be world champion. Everyone will say you've done the perfect thing. You caught him at the right time. Everything. But um, it's all talking and mixed speculation until it happens. Just finally, uh, as the shutter goes up behind you there, what are the plans for the future and are you back in the gym yet? Well, I've been back in the gym. I've been training. Um, I've been training at my friend's gym, my, my friend Stephen. Um, I'm going to go away, have a holiday. I'm going to Barbados, back to my hometown. or well, half of my hometown. I'm half Jamaican, half Bayesian. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back to Barbados for a bit, take my family, relax a bit more. Um, Again, it's all about clearing your head and getting your mind back right and forgetting about social media, forgetting about what people are talking about, expectations, forgetting about the fight um, and resetting, reloading. So um, when I come back, I'll have a meeting with Frank, my promotion, my managers, and get locked and loaded for the future. Excellent. Well, congratulations, certainly, on giving us a good performance, even if it wasn't the right result. I think everyone enjoyed that. Love, always. Lions in the camp. Lions in the camp. <laughs> Still lands in the cup. <laughs> Always lands. Thanks, mate.